Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, and welcome to Art Snack. Art Snack, that's when we take a short break from our hectic work day to have a little fun and talk about art. My name is Jenny Lynn James and I'm an artist based in Toronto, Canada. So this afternoon, the theme is dance, 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 and I'm going to be showing you a few of my paintings that capture various dances. And you're probably wondering, what is Jenny Lynn wearing today? Well, this is a French Creole Caribbean costume. French Creole Caribbean costume. So we have what we call the petticoat with lots of frills. And then the over skirt. We have a big scarf lots of frills in the top of the blouse and a nice multicolored sash and this is the typical con costume for what we call the ballet dance ay 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 la reine vive ay 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 la reine vive ay 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 la reine vive la reine vive and nous dansons le ballet so ballet is a type of dance from the french speaking caribbean countries and also in Trinidad and Tobago, where French had settled in the 1600s, we have the same traditions. So I had this costume specially made for me to do presentations. That's when I lived in Ireland. I did food presentations, Caribbean food presentations, and I had my lovely Caribbean costume. So this afternoon, I'm going to show you a few pieces of art around the theme of dance, and ethnic pieces. First of all, I'm going to show you some paintings from when I visited India. This was back in 2017. So this one I called Water Carriers and you can see the ladies carrying buckets of water on their heads. So we toured around Rajasthan in the north of India and each region had different costumes. I was intrigued by the, the um, dresses and saris and all the colorful clothing that the men wore. I called it life in Technicolor. So I have a whole series on Rajasthan and all the beautiful clothing that I observed during that trip. So these are the water carriers. And you can see two women carrying water on their heads. So it's acrylic on canvas, right? Eight inches by 10 inches. I'm going to show you another painting based on that trip to India. This one I call Temple Women. And in that area of Rajasthan, you can see the women wore a very different type of clothing with a skirt over it. So you have the tunic, long skirts, head ties, sashes, and then a different color skirt over the main tunic. So very interesting clothing in that region. And I call them temple women because we actually observe these women at the temple. Now this one I call the haunted three. So these women were wearing brightly colored saris and headdresses. And not only were the colors bright, but they also attached little pieces of mirror to make the clothing even brighter. So that was a tradition throughout the uh, Rajasthan region. People wore brightly colored clothing and also it was made even brighter by these tiny pieces of mirror on the fabric. And I call these um, women the haunted three because we saw them at the Bangar Fort in Rajasthan. And that fort is supposed to be one of the most haunted places in India. Everyone had moved out centuries ago and only the monkeys lived there. They've taken over the fort. So I call this one the Haunted Three. Three women that I actually saw walking around the fort, visiting just like other tourists. Now in the spirit of dance, this is one of my favorite ones. It uh, was fun to create. 
and I call this It Takes Two to Tango. So as you can see, you have the tango dancers, the couple in different uh, places, different times, dipping here and dipping there. So It Takes Two to Tango, acrylic on canvas, 20 by 24. So this is a fun one, especially if you do tango dance. It's so much fun. It takes two to tango. Now, another lovely dance painting that I enjoy producing. And I call this one Dance Hypnotique. So it's a belly dancer and she has her scarves and she's waving them around. Okay, Dance Hypnotique. So belly dancer with her beautiful fabric and it's quite lively. I try to capture the movement in the fabric. So this one I call Dance Hypnotique. So again, it's all in the theme of dance. And last but not least, la 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 la, as I do my Caribbean folk dance. Last but not least, I have one of my favorites that I produced during the uh, pandemic last year, Josephine and the Flappers. So 1920s style painting, Josephine Baker and the Flappers. And as you can see, the flappers are nicely dressed with their, um, their beautiful dresses, their pearls, head ties. It was a time when women really adorned themselves so with jewelry, bracelets, lots of head uh, dresses and flowers and head ties. So it was a wonderful time to go out and have fun. Josephine and the Flappers. So this is acrylic on canvas, 24 by 30. And one of my favorite paintings to date, part of a series that I call Blues on Blue. So that's it for Dance, Dance, Dance today. If you want to see some more of my dance paintings, do check out my website, jennylynjames.pixels.com and you'll see tons of paintings of dancers and I plan to do some more this year, 2021. So jennylynjames.pixels.com. Please remember to hit the subscribe button at my YouTube channel and also subscribe to my Facebook and Instagram at Art by Jenny Lynn James. That's Art by Jenny Lynn James. Thank you so much for being here this afternoon and join me at two tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to look at some jazzy gems so see you next time. Bye for now.